Okay, so hello everyone. I welcome you all to this particular session. In this session, I am going to discuss zombie processes. So in previous session, we have talked about the orphan processes. Now let's understand what is a zombie process. Now, as I have already mentioned here is zombie process is a process that has completed its execution. So that means the process has been already terminated, right? But it still has an entry in the process table. So process table is a kind of data section. I have already written here. Every process is having an entry inside a data section, which is considered as process table, right? So if a process has been terminated, but the entry inside the process table is still existing, such kind of processes we consider as zombie. Okay. Process table contains n number of other informations about the currently active processes like process ID, the process state, priority of then CPU uses, memory uses, parent process ID and there are other relevant informations, right? So all these information is available inside the process table. Now let's understand, let's say if there is a process P1 is running and P1 has created a child process. So P1 has created a child process like P2 Now what happens whenever P2 terminates so if P2 terminates it sends the signal to P1 P1 is the parent of P2 and in turn the P1 will update or inform the kernel Okay, and kernel will update the process table. So I'm writing here process table, right? So let's say you assume there is a process table and all the active processes are having some entry inside the process table. And the index in this process table is PID, okay? There are other relevant information also, which I have mentioned, like parent process ID and number of other things are also there, the process status, right? Now the kernel process is updating this particular process table and kernel is getting information about the child process through this parent process. So in order to update immediately the status of any child process, the status needs to first clear to the parent. So if parent will not be aware about, it will not be able to intimate the kernel, right? So I hope you understood the logic. Now what happens when a child terminates, if the parent is not in the situation to receive the signal, the parent will lost the status of the terminated process or child and in that case this process let's say p2 was having an entry in the process table although the p2 will be terminated but this entry will remain and then p2 uh, not p1 p2 this p2 will be considered as zombie process or defunct process okay zombie or defunct okay so let's look at and try to create in c programming the zombie processes okay so let's see here i have already written a code please look at the code here what I have written is <clears throat> I'm creating one parent by executing this code 
and I'm also creating a child by calling this fork. So I'm calling this fork and you are aware about once we call the fork system call, it creates a child process, right? Fork returns greater than zero value for parent process and fork returns zero to the child process. And in case fork returns negative value, we consider there is an error in execution of fork, right? So the child process was not created. So I have created three sections, one for parent process, where I'm checking PID is greater than zero. That means it is the parent section. Next section in else if, where I'm comparing PID is equal to zero. That means it is a child section. And the third section is else part, where I have written for in case forking failed, there is an error. So I'm printing the error. Okay. Now what is happening here? The important point in the parent section, I have applied a sleep. You may apply sleep for 10 second, 20 second or any other second. But why I am trying to apply this sleep here? Because what I want is, once this parent and child start executing concurrently, after starting the parent, immediately I am executing sleep. So the parent will be in sleeping state immediately after start getting initiated in the system and then the child will terminate so when the child will terminate the parent will be in sleeping state so the exit status of child will not be will not be able to handled by the parent because parent will be sleeping and then the child will become zombie in the system okay so let's execute this code I'll provide this code in the uh, comment section also. So you can copy the code from there and you can execute in your system. So let's look at it. Now if you want to compile this code, we use GCC compiler and let's say we compile. There's no error. So a dot out file must be generated. Now because we want to check the status of the process which I am going to create better to execute or run this particular code in background. So you know that in Linux, if you want to execute any command in background, you need to put ampersand sign. So I'm putting it. Now I am running it. So before running it, let's let me tell you how to check the status because after I run this particular code, I'll be checking the status of the generated processes okay so to check the status there's a command ps when you type ps it will display the status of currently executing processes okay if specifically you want to display some of the output then you use hyphen o option in ps and let's say i want to display pid ppid let's say stat or maybe command so if i want to display it will display only those things right so ps is one of the command so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run my a dot out in background by putting the ampersand sign after executing this i will run ps and check in ps a dot out has been created twice here so you can say command cmd a dot out and a dot out but this a dot out which is having process id 3558 it is defunct defunct means this process is zombie acting as zombie process right and this process 3556 it was the parent process <clears throat> so the process id because parent was sleeping for 20 second after 20 second the parent is printing its id so the ID of the parent was 3556, but the child became defunct or zombie process, right? So I hope you can understand what is a zombie process and how we can create the zombie process. Let me open the code again. And how to solve this particular issue? We don't want that zombie process should be created inside the system. If you don't want to create zombie, you need to use wait system call, which we have already studied. So forcibly, we need to 
ask parent to wait for its child termination okay so we need to apply wait in parent process so let's say this is the parent section if you don't want to create zombie processes then you need to apply wait here so let's say i apply here wait and wait requires some pointer or integer pointer to maintain the status so if you don't want to pass anything you can pass null here and when you call wait you need to include okay and sys slash types dot h now i have applied wait system call inside the parent process let's see what happens so if you again compile this it has been compiled properly now i am running it by typing dot slash dot out i want to execute this in background so i am putting ampersand sign and then I'm checking through PS. Now you can check it. After applying PS, there is no process which is having a status defunct as earlier it was, right? So it is not allowing to create zombie processes in the system, right? So this is the parent and the, the, the child has been terminated, but child was not acting as a defunct or zombie. Right. So I hope this particular program is clear to everybody. Okay. I am putting this code into the description window so you can copy and run it. Thank you everybody for connecting. See you in the next session.